first 4A championship coach from Palmer Ridge, Zach Carlton. Uh, good morning, uh, Zach Carlton from Palmer Ridge High School. Um, really want to give a shout out to my coaching staff and players that are here today, um, and also out in Monument as well. Um, thank you guys for your time and your efforts, and um, really, really excited to continue to work with this group week by week. Um, season overview for us, um, you know, started off the season with a really strong Montrose team that we faced against. Um, Happy to get away with the win with that. Um, our guys have showed a lot of resilience, uh, not only from week one, uh, but all the way through this season, uh, battling certain different adversities, and uh, really proud with where they are today. Jeff Mike and Erie Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. No. Um, first of all, like Zach said, you want to thank our assistant coaches. Um, you know, our staff is just unbelievable. And then uh, young men that are here in Erie, um, it's been a blast. You know, this year's always fun when you get a chance to be at this point. You reminisce about all the things that happened and got you to here, but um, the year has been a lot of fun. Um, we started off our year in Florida and played a very talented Vanguard team, and um, I think that was um, something that was great for us. You know, we. We lost the game, but I think the um, being there for five days together and everything, I think, helped bring us closer um, and set us on the path to um, get here and uh, play a very talented Palmer Ridge team, obviously. So um, that's all I have. Thank you. coaches, could you compare and contrast each of your quarterbacks and the opposing quarterback force? You know, I'm not sure what you see with your quarterback game. Um, comparing the two, um, number three and, and, uh, and Derek are like, you can really see their competitive spirit, um, through film big time. Um, they're both, um, really high motor, um, wanting to make plays type of guys. Um, and you know, um, Erie's, Erie's guy is really athletic, uh, has, displays a great arm, uh, overall a great athlete and great competitor. And, um. I don't, I don't know if there are really too many major differences between the two. Yeah, I would, I would agree with Zach. I think um, watching on film, I think they're very similar. Um, uh, the competitiveness, you know, obviously I know Blake better than, than Derek, but um, on film, yeah, it looks like the, um, he's the same person. Um, and... Uh, we even in preparation, we're like that's probably the closest we've uh, came to facing a quarterback like the one we have, and um, definitely be a tough test. And um, I'm sure he's a great young man, just like Blake. And if I can follow up, can you guys just give me maybe something you think stands out for you about your quarterback, be it a skill or an intangible that makes them special? Yeah, um, I think the thing that I always say the most is. Um, people don't realize the young man he is. Um, and that's what probably has stood out to me the most. Everybody sees the talent on the field and everything, but how he carries himself and his concerns for teammates, classmates, um, the school in general. Um, and I don't think that gets put out enough. And uh, that's what I'm the most proud of him about, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, I would echo the same thing about Derek. Um, great person. Um, He's a leader for our team as well. Um, like, I'm gonna go back to that competitive spirit um, that's infectious for our guys as well. Uh, Coach Carlson, it's your first year at the helm, and I know that this Palmer Ridge program has been very successful over the past few years. What did you have to do, or what were some strategies that you used to maintain that success in your first year at the helm? You know, I, I had a lot of good people uh, come before me with Coach Polford and Coach Armantrout, and it was really following the same bl blueprint that we've done since I got here in 2015. Um, and, you know, overall, it's more on our kids um, that have done, done a good job of just continuing the traditions and the values and the standard that we set at Palmer Ridge. Awesome. And then for Coach Geiger, you 
guys have been really close the past few years. What are some lessons that you take from that state championship uh, appearance a couple of years ago and from the semifinal appearance last year into this championship game that you're hoping to either improve on or uh, just utilize to your advantage for this trip? You know, I think the main thing is is uh, the focus throughout the year on the on the small thing. I mean, it sounds so cliche, but um, you know, we felt like last year we you know we were inches away from being back there again. Um, but it's same. The small things have to be taken care of because when you're playing in these games, you're playing against talented teams that are just as talented as you are, and every little mistake is magnified. So you got to really try and hope that you can control those the best you can, and and uh, make one less than they do. So, Coach Becker, you mentioned that in championship games, every mistake is magnified. How do you, for both of you guys, how do you instill that confidence if maybe a player does make a mistake to go out there and continue playing their style of football? Um, well, I think that's the age-old question. Um, you know, you, you're trying to have kids that play to the cliff you know, when you're playing a, a sport like ours, um, but you don't want them to fall off, but then they're going to. So you have to understand and allow them to, and then correct it, and then get them back in. I think that's the main thing. And then hopefully the relationships you've built throughout the year and the years, um, they understand that you are, you care about them as young people. Um, so they trust you and know that, you know, yeah, you got on me, but I'm going to be back out there. And um, I hope that we have that built. And if it's not with me, with coaches or whatever, they have somebody that they trust and know that uh, they're never going to be left on the sideline. They can't play themselves off, really, I guess. Um, it's kind of my take, anyway. Yeah, definitely, um, like, the coach-to-player relationship is big time. Um, and, like, they know that our whole staff loves them at the end of the day. And we're going to hold them to a standard. and like at Palmer Ridge, they're going to reach that standard. Um, I think another big piece of it too is the culture of your program and understanding that when they play for each other and even if a mistake happens that their teammates are going to lift them up no matter what, um, that's big for them. I don't know if I can have a question for all four coaches, um, but if possible, the biggest challenges you felt like you faced this season to reach this point? The biggest cool. challenges you're Zach, let's start with you, and we'll just pass that microphone down the way. Yeah, uh, biggest challenges, um, you know, we did face quite a bit of injuries right off the bat um, that our guys had to battle through, and, like, kudos to our guys um, for guys stepping in the roles that were either brand new or they were a backup before and excelled. Um, that was probably the major thing that we had to overcome, and then just being locked in on details all season. Yeah, I think for um, us, the, the Florida trip was big. Um, and going through that that challenge, um, our early season schedule was tough. And then, um, you know, we've had we've had some battles throughout the year, and I think that's that's helped them. Um, but the biggest thing, the biggest challenge, I think, was uh, not allowing the moments to be too big. You 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 set your goals. Um, I, our goal was unfinished business from last year. You set that goal, and you want to make sure that you can still play free and not worry too much about what's going on, I guess, in the game. Can this moment be big? I'm sorry? Can this moment be big? Oh, I, that's probably going to be pretty big, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a team that came up short a year ago. What is different, what is special about your group this year that's kind of changed the, the fortune for this season? Yeah, I think the – Biggest thing, I mean, we talk about it all the time, but I think this group is really truly bought into the the team or the, excuse me, player leadership. Um, you know, we, and once again, I keep going back to Florida, but I don't know if we were quite there. And then going through the adversity there and, and being around each other, and then just throughout the years, they've, they've taken to it. Um, I've probably given them a little more leniency than I have some teams because they have taken to it. Um, and uh, I think. For this group, that's the thing that I that I think is what's made them the most special, and also it's also make it probably the most fun too. When you can kind of step back and watch them actually do what you want them to do without having to yell. Yeah. 
Yeah, just to echo Coach here, um, very much a, um, a player-led team with this group. Um, they hold each other accountable, which is massive, um, as we know, with dealing with high schoolers. Um, like, they, they get after each other. Um, they hold themselves to the standard that we set, and uh, that's big time for us. For Coach Geiger, you keep bringing up the Florida game. Um, you lose that one, but then right along 12 straight. What was it specifically about that game that allowed the team to click and really figure something out? Yeah, I, I think you you don't know what to expect, especially when you go out of state. Um, what we thought we knew, we found out completely was true. There's a lot of speed in Florida. <laughs> and... and uh, you know, I think that was shocking. And but the guys, how they battled throughout the game um, and rose to so many challenges throughout that game. You never, never like losing, and you don't like the, the, um, the idea that um, I'm missing the word here. You, you somebody help me. Um, there's no moral victories to it for sure, but in that sense, I think there was. Um, and then getting a chance to hang out and do the theme parks or all the stuff they did. Um, I think it was just was a unique situation against a unique opponent, and I think that was just very beneficial for it. And then for Coach Carlton, you guys move up to 4A in 2019. Just what has that transition been like to go back up to the 4A? Um, I, I think football's football at the end of the day. Um, so I don't, I don't know if there's really a big difference. I mean, obviously there's bigger schools where you have more numbers and then um, that creates a bigger talent pool. But at the end of the day, it's football for us. Uh, Coach Carlton, for you in particular, uh, Palmer Ridge is the only uh, team south of Castle Rock that's left. And do you see any pressure, or feel any pressure to represent Southern Colorado here in the championship? No, um, I'm, I'm worried about our guys performing to their full potential, and that's it. How much of you two guys uh, looked at that that playoff game from quarterfinals, what was that, two years ago? Um, just to try and glean any little advantage that you can. I know your seniors were sophomores that year. I know a few of them saw some playing time. So what do you know from that game that you're hoping to apply? <coughs> Um, you know, I think big thing that our current seniors have learned from that game is um, the importance of finishing, whether it's a specific play or quarter or game or drive. Um, that's that's one thing that I think we really took away from that, um, from when they were sophomores to seniors now. Yeah, I think very similar. Um, and then uh, at the same time, I think, you know, completely different team. I'm, I'm sure they, um, Palmer Ridge is too, in the sense of, you know, when you've graduated two classes since then, there's just a different makeup, different group. Um, so the, like, the question of paying attention to it too much, not, I haven't really looked at it too much, um, but there are lessons that were there, I'm sure. Anything else? If not, uh, we'll kind of release the coaches and the student athletes. We have one more question. Uh, yeah, for Coach Geiger, uh, your defense has done a great job limiting scoring this year. Is there anything that you've done specifically for this upcoming game to limit on the <laughs> Well, we're still in the process of trying to figure that out. There's, they got a lot of talent running around there. So um, to, to uh, limit their scoring is going to be extremely tough. Um, you, you hope you can kind of control what they have um, and um, and then hopefully we score one more point than they do when it's all said and done. But uh, um, yeah, the, right now I'm still not sleeping very well. We're still trying to figure that out. <laughs>